The cyber SUV is a trending keyword recently as consumer demand for this vehicle segment is steadily increasing. This surge in interest is driven by its captivating exterior, drawing inspiration from the Cybertruck prototype along with a seemingly indestructible outer frame design. The combination of these features, coupled with the benefits typically associated with the most popular SUVs in the United States, positions this SUV to meet over 80% of the future market demands for families in North America. But why should Tesla add this SUV to their product lineup? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. According to some early 2024 statistics, sales of pickup trucks and SUVs increased by 13.7% in 2023, and reached more than 12.3 million vehicle units, including electric vehicles and ICEs. In particular, Tesla shared 50.58% of car sales in the US market, and it was marked by the sales boom of the Model Y, the best-selling SUV model in the world at this opportunity. Time. In fact, according to statistics from a dataset gathered from more than 160 countries, the Tesla Model Y is the leading car model in global sales this year. That feat pumps the heart of Elon Musk's promise, made back in August of 2022, that the Model Y would be the world's best-selling new vehicle by 2023. At the same time, some thought that bout of boasting was too optimistic, for lack of a better word, given that the Model Y is starting M. MSRP was over 50,000 US dollars. But, uh, <laughs> several price cuts by Tesla in the final months of 2022 and even into 2023 have fueled strong growth in sales. Indeed, up till now, the number of Model Ys sold has accumulated to 1.23 million units, an increase of 85% compared to 2022. And that is on top of the appearance of the Cybertruck at the end of 2023, when Musk officially delivered the electric pickup model with an appearance that attracts everyone's attention and comes with impressive performance that helps it surpass all competitors in the same segment. The convergence of these two impactful revelations may prompt Tesla to initiate a significant shift in its product lineup. Observing Tesla's trajectory from the introduction of the initial Model S sedan back in 2009 to the subsequent unveiling of the Model X SUV, it becomes apparent that Tesla has maintained a relatively consistent design language across its models. The emphasis has been on sleekness, improved aerodynamics, and subtle variations in dimensions, indicating a focus on refining existing design elements rather than introducing drastic changes to the exoskeleton. Hence, the Cybertruck represents a pivotal milestone for the company as it heralds a shift towards entirely new designs for the upcoming generation of models, including the anticipated Model 2, Robotaxi, and notably the Cyber SUV. While details about this model may may not be readily available in online communities, credible design leaks portray an SUV with an exterior aesthetic akin to the Cybertruck. A distinctive alteration involves the removal of the rear bed, or more precisely, the reduction of over half of the bed space to create an expansive rear trunk area. So what, do we call that a runk now? Anyways, perhaps you're wondering what the design of the Cybertruck branded SUV will come out like, but before I get into further details, please show Show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell icon so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, what conveniences will the design of the Cyber SUV bring to you in your day-to-day -day hustle? First and foremost, before we go over any sort of integrated software mumbo jumbo or anything like that, let's talk about the impressive designs that'll truly bring meaning to users. I bet you didn't know that reducing a portion of the upper bed in the Cybertruck's design would easily transform this SUV into a vehicle with a length of about 190 inches. That's 16 gosh darn feet. This indicates progress in expanding cargo space, providing a significant 
significant additional area to accommodate all the accessories for a family camping trip. Wink, wink. Furthermore, it could be an excellent choice for a supplies run, allowing you to bring back home a long-term supply of food, what with all the new cases cropping up, without worrying about where to put everything on the way back. In comparison, the Model Y currently has an overall length of 187 inches, and its spacious design originally offers users a cargo space of up to 68 cubic feet, a feature that has received positive reviews since its introduction to the market. Notice that that I said originally. This detail has since been changed and the current iteration of the Y gives out more legroom with a whopping 72 cubic feet, with folded down seats of course. For a more general overview, we would have to pay attention to its groundbreaking exterior that's undoubtedly a callback to what embodies the Cybertruck. But it's not 100% going to be a one-to-one -one imitation. The shell here will be assembled with metal panels that are cheaper than stainless steel as the origami stainless steel angular design is just a worthwhile design element for vehicles that need a certain bulletproof durability element like Tesla's new electric pickup. It's even possible to have an alternative color option added. The Cyber SUV's standard color will be silver, white, and unpainted. The paint color will be added as options when you buy the vehicle, which will help Tesla customers comfortably perform DIY work on their own EVs. Furthermore, the Cybertruck was controversial in the past when Tesla initially introduced the door handle design in the first prototype, and then they removed it. It seems this will continue to be implemented on the Cyber SUV. This may cause some concerns about the problem of this SUV's wings freezing in some snowy areas, but the heat pump system that Tesla equips the Cybertruck with will be a great way to deal with this future SUV model. Model. Furthermore, it is a great feature for overnight camping as the vehicle always provides you with a stable and warm level of heat while in the vehicle. Moving on to safety, imagine standing in front of the trunk, oh, I'm sorry, the frunk of any EV while it's open and suddenly it closes while your fingers are placed on it or in it at this point. I bet you would be concerned about this as some current models lack an anti-pinch sensor system in including the Cybertruck, where its angular edges could potentially pose a danger to, to your hand digits, akin to a sausage being cut in half. However, we've noticed that this issue is mostly limited to the Cybertruck, as other Tesla bottles almost always feature this safety mechanism. This implies that Musk has likely taken note of this concern, in which he faced with the electric pickup, and subsequently introduced an upgraded iteration incorporating this sensor. I guess experience really is the best teacher. Not saying that he himself experienced it, but I'm pretty sure someone told him. It's a simple addition of a sensor circuit around the front and rear trunks to detect any objects caught, automatically opening to avoid unfortunate incidents, especially when your kids are playing in the vicinity of the vehicle. What strategic maneuvers then are competitors pulling out of their sleeves against Tesla's potentially groundbreaking flagship ESUV? Electric vehicle manufacturers are busy producing and delivering their next SUVs or crossovers in hopes of competing directly with Tesla's Model Y, the best-selling car globally. They are focusing on crossovers and SUVs to compete with Tesla, including Nissan, when the EV company revealed the hyper-urban crossover concept with an angular design, no less. Moreover, the Rivian R2 SUV has garnered attention since the introduction of the R1T in 2018 at the LA Auto Show. Rivian executives hinted at the development of the R2R, boasting high ground clearance and impressive performance, reaching up to 500 horsepower with an all-wheel drive configuration and an option for quad motor. Despite facing delays akin to the Cybertruck, the R2R re-emerged in 2024, featuring a design akin to the R1T and R1S, ensuring more spacious storage while maintaining the fundamental design elements. Rivian CEO RJ Scarringe shared during an earnings call that the mid-size RT SUV is slated for a 2026 release, with an estimated price range of 45,000 US to 50,000, leveraging insights and advancements from the larger R1 platform. Furthermore, Polestar is gearing up for
for an increased production and delivery push in the fourth quarter, marking the initiation of Polestar 4 crossover SUV production with deliveries set before the close of 2024. Furthermore, Polestar is gearing up for an increased production and delivery push in the fourth quarter, marking the initiation of Polestar 4 crossover SUV production with deliveries set before the end of 2024. This entry into the market intensifies the competition for Tesla. The Polestar 4 will offer a single motor powertrain generating 272 horsepower, while the dual motor variant boasts an impressive 544 horsepower. The anticipated driving range for the rear engine only model is around 300 miles per charge. However, the pricing is expected to range from 60 to $80,000 for the higher end version, a figure that might not align with the anticipated coupe styling anticipated in the next generation Model 2. Which is still pretty crazy, but uh, back to the topic, why will the Cyber SUV be the key to surpassing all of Tesla's rivals in the US market? The Model Y is on sale in 2024 with a standard range of 260 miles and an acceleration from 0 to 60 in 6.6 seconds, in addition to a long range version with increased range up to 310 miles since it's using a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack which helps it move faster in the sprint lap at 4.8 seconds. To outshine its formidable competitors, the Cyber SUV must boast a range exceeding 300 miles and an enticing starting price of $30,000. This poses a significant challenge, especially considering the current market scenario where the Model Y is available at $43,990. Tesla typically initiates new product launches with a relatively low introductory price, which tends to increase once the product hits the market. Therefore, the expected cost of the Cyber SUV is estimated to be around $40,000, positioning it competitively against rivals like the Rivian R2. The preference for SUVs among Americans extends beyond mere choice. It reflects a practical and utilitarian alignment with the daily needs of the population. The appeal lies in the abundant cargo space at the rear, further amplified by the convenience of foldable rear seats. SUVs are favored for several reasons, including their robust power to navigate around larger vehicles, an elevated seating position that improves visibility, and spacious interiors capable of accommodating up to eight passengers. The perceived safety of these larger vehicles makes them a popular choice, particularly for families. The rise of SUVs in popularity has not gone unnoticed by EV manufacturers, prompting them to unveil promising new models and electrification plans. Tesla, a trailblazer in the EV market, launched the Model X in 2017 as its inaugural all-electric SUV. The subsequent success of the Tesla Model Y introduced in 2019 further solidified the demand for electric SUVs, setting a record as the world's best-selling electric vehicle. Despite the Model Y Wise continued success, it has been five years since its market debut and users are increasingly drawn to innovative and performance-oriented features. This sets the stage for the eagerly anticipated Cyber SUV to not merely be a conceptual vision, but a transformative addition to the electric SUV landscape. But with all this anticipation, it makes it very difficult to wait for such an impressive vehicle. Yet much like music and dance or even finding the love of your life, it's all about timing. Which begs the question, when would be the right time for the Cyber SUV to make its debut out on the market? Surprisingly, unlike the complexity of music, the elegance of dance, or the intricacies of dating, the answer to that question is quite definitive and plain. Four years. Yep, four years. But we'll get to that in a moment. Let's first rewind the clock. It's 2019. Tesla, its CEO Musk, along with chief designer Franz von Holthausen, took a daring step in unveiling the Cybertruck, and even despite its polarizing design, you can bet crypto, this truck for sure stands out from everything else on the road. The Cybertruck's stainless steel body panels draw inspiration from the iconic DeLorean, incorporating aesthetic nods to the vehicle and its sci-fi heritage. While embracing the chic cyberpunk style, Tesla's chief designer Franz von Holzhausen has created an aesthetic that extends beyond the vehicle itself. This unique design has become a source of inspiration for other products, evident in Tesla's limited edition, Gigabeer, and the Cybervault in China. Instead of adopting a sub-brand approach, Tesla's ability to weave the Cybertruck's distinct aesthetic into various offerings showcases the brand's versatility and 
and innovation. Before officially being delivered, a statistic indicates that the Cybertruck is the most anticipated vehicle indeed. This electric pickup truck has taken everyone by surprise, generating over 2 million pre-orders. It has been the center of attention and discussion for a continuous and seemingly endless four years. While Tesla has an extensive list of new models to add to their product line, such as the Model 2, RoboTaxi, and Tesla vans, there is a lot on the agenda as Elon Musk, the man from the future, brings everything from the future to us. Simultaneously, Tesla is planning to expand all operational factories to supplement production lines. In addition to that, they are exploring new lands to construct entirely new designs, as seen in the plan to build Giga Mexico. Recently, they obtained the necessary permits to commence building the factory speculated to produce an affordable $25,000 EV. More intriguingly, Tesla is looking to step into the Indian market where there is immense potential for the future of the EV industry. Potentially, there were talks of a 2 billion US dollar investment in India to establish an electric car manufacturing plant. The main hurdle to overcome in the potential partnership between Tesla and the Indian government is the concession of a 15 to 20 percent reduction in the auto import tax for at least the first two years. However, once certain issues are resolved, it will be a significant breakthrough for Tesla, especially with the introduction of the Cybertruck SUV style design. And speaking of production, what would the production process entail when Tesla eventually tackles the Cyber SUV and adds it to its ever-expanding line of EVs? Some things of note that should be covered first is that some reports have indicated that Tesla has started delivering the Cybertruck to non-employee customers. With this development, the number of drivers with Cybertrucks on the roads will increase in the coming months, but that's if the reports prove to be based on factual evidence. It is apparent that Tesla has ramped up the production of this electric pickup truck in the early months of 2024, while those believed to have received their corresponding Cybertruck VINs in recent weeks were Tesla employees, customers not employed by the EV manufacturer are also said to have started receiving their VINs. As the mass production of the Cybertruck becomes a stable on the assembly line, okay, becomes stable on the assembly line, coupled with Tesla fulfilling the substantial pre-orders totaling over 2 million units, the actual numbers might not be as high due to potential cancellations. Nevertheless, at least Tesla Tesla seems to be achieving this milestone. The Cyber SUV will be manufactured based on the Cybertruck's platform ensuring design consistency, particularly the outer body structure, which is not made of expensive and difficult to shape stainless steel, thus making fine-tuning the vehicle more accessible than ever before. Uh, but we must delve into the realm of batteries, a crucial component that enhances a vehicle's performance. Tesla is set to enhance a new generation of batteries with the introduction of the 4680 configuration that presents a boost in efficiency by 10 to 20 percent. This new type of battery might see the light of day in the near future. Enriched with a higher nickel content for its cathodes, coded NMC955, the new battery type consists of approximately 90% nickel, 5% manganese, and the remaining 5% cobalt. Shouldn't it technically be 955? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. The increased nickel content in the cathode indicates a significant theoretical boost in energy density per cell. As a result, the Cyber SUV having reduced cell mass compared to the Cyber truck benefits from a smaller size tailored to fit the needs of a family vehicle. In the NMC system, each transition metal ion has its own advantages and disadvantages in terms of chemical stability and structural stability, with cobalt and manganese being complete opposites. Manganese undergoes a basically no chemical instability whatsoever related to oxygen release from the lattice in contrast to cobalt. But on the other hand, manganese exhibits structural instability as it can easily move from the transition metal plane to the lithium plane, leading to a voltage drop during cycling. However, it is abundant and more environmentally friendly than cobalt, which can only be extracted from a few mines located worldwide, many of which are in economically unstable regions. At the end of the road, the production of castings for the frame of the Cyber SUV will demonstrate a close resemblance to the process of the Cybertruck, albeit on a smaller and more visible 
visible scale. Tesla's plan here is to utilize a 16,000 ton gigapress to create single piece casting molds for the future SUV. It is also speculated that these presses will be used to create casting molds for the Model 2 and some compact car models. The exact details remain uncertain until you step inside Tesla's factory in 2026. These gigapresses provide Tesla with a competitive advantage in manufacturing as this is the most challenging aspect of achieving large production volumes for any significant product. Whichever way you look at it, it resembles giant metal Lego pieces pieced together to form a colossal machine. In operation, it breaks through with a clamping force of 160,000 kilonewtons. It serves as the driving force behind the casting technology creating a single piece. And the ultimate goal, the one that really matters, is to leave everyone truly amazed. What are your thoughts on this impressive design for the future? Do you think it's one of the most anticipated products? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. We hope this video provided you with a sense of relaxation. If it resonated with you, kindly show your support by liking the video and joining the Tesla Car World family through subscribing to our channel. Be sure you don't miss any of our fantastic content by hitting the bell icon. Your feedback and time are immensely appreciated. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy life, people.